Okay, it's hard, but we got it. Good morning. Okay, today I'm trying this lure. It's major craft, Bunta swimming. Major craft no Bunta, ne? And the Kogir power shad oranges. Okay, let's go. Hello, this is Angrawa TV in California. Thank you for watching my video and supporting my channel. I'll introduce how to fish in the Japanese way using proper techniques in Japan and Japanese fishing gear. This is a saltwater fishing video. Look at this. This is Jig Parahead Bunta by Major Craft. If you are a saltwater lure angler, you may know about the Jig Para by Major Craft. A metal jig, a spin tail jig, a blade bait. Great lures you can get at affordable prices. Amazing products. Many of their items are JDM, Japanese domestic market only, but Majorcraft has a US branch, Majorcraft America. They have distributed major items in the US, so that we can find some in the US market. Nice! Jig Parahead Bunta has three types. Let's check out their Japanese website. Jig Parahead Bunta Dart. Jig Parahead Bunta Rock. Jig Parahead Bunta Swim. Bunta Dart is a data type jig head made for the wind technique. If you have no idea what the wind technique is, I have many videos explaining it. Let's check them out. Punta Rock is specialized in bottom dragging. Rockfish love to eat crustaceans hanging around the bottom. I have to say, this is kind of Ned Rig head. And this. Jig Parahead Bunta Swim. This is the newest one of the Bunta family. This head is designed for the swimming method. Looking at the head, we can see it has a bottom heavy shape so that the lure can have a stable home and could be easy to keep the range. The head has a second eye in the bottom. We can set an assist hook a blade, whatever we want. I set the wire assist hook by decoy. Let me show you my setup. This is my setup. 20 grams Bunta Swim Jig Head. A Kogia Parshad. This is 5 inches, but in the fishing footage, I use 4 inches. And decoy wire treble assist. Okay, let's go fishing! Okay, so many people are there. Major craft, jig head, bunta, swimming, bunta, swimming, uh, 20 grams, 20 grams, and Echo gear, power shot, hoinches. Okay, let's start fishing. <laughs> Shadow water.
Okay, tackle. I'm using is uh, Prom Substar medium class load SGP86M. The lower weight is uh, 3 8 ohms to 1 and quarter ohms. Hmm. Medium power Japanese Shiba's load. And this is uh, Daiwa 300 Freemus. <laughs> this rod, Palm Saster, was very popular rod. Around 20 years ago, late 90s to early 2000s, uh, Palm Saster was one of the most popular rods among surf Shiba anglers. Yeah. I don't remember when I got this rod. Uh, it could be 20 years ago. Over 15 years ago, for sure. Mm -hmm. This is a great rod. Yeah. This is a great rod, but mm, 20 years ago, <laughs> meaning yeah, this rod, uh, this model could be 20 years old. So compared to the modern days rod, uh, the fishing rod these days, uh, this rod can be out of dated. Yeah. A little bit heavier than modern days graphite rod and sensitivity wise also mm, could be similar to lower end yeah, not expensive rod 20 years yeah fishing rod fishing gear so many technologies has been evolved yeah. but still I love, I love this rod. And the Perms still has been producing uh, this brand, Southster. Um, but this model, uh, 8 feet 6 inch model, I think is no longer available, discontinued. And they are specialized in a surf casting, longer feet rod, and rest line up. We used to have a super light class rod that I also have. All those models are no longer available. Oh, Marit. Hmm. I hope Spot Davis and California Hagbot.
Okay. Okay. It's a hard but It's a hard but Okay, okay. For watching. If you like this video, let's subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye bye.